Today was a great day. We made delicious snacks. We figured out what we needed to work on to make our dreams come true. And there was something else. We met Tiana! Celebrate with a big flambe. <laughs> Welcome to the Disney Princess Courage and Kindness Club. I'm Malia. And I'm Elena. All week long, we'll be talking to Disney princesses and learning how they show courage and kindness. The princesses make being courageous and kind look so easy. I admire that about them. They definitely do. And there's one princess who had the courage to dream big and the determination to open her own business. That's right. When Tiana was just a little girl, she already knew that she wanted to open up her own restaurant. She believed in herself, even when her only supporters were her parents. I must say, that's quite impressive for what? A six-year-old? We can definitely learn a thing or two from Tiana's determination. And that's why she invited us over. She's going to teach us all about hope, resilience, and courage. So, are you ready to go meet her? I've been wanting to try one of her beignets. I've heard they're the best in town. Oh, without a doubt. Shall we? We shall. Hi, Tiana. Well, hello there. My name is Elena. And I'm your biggest fan. I mean, Malia. I'm Malia. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Well, how are you ladies doing? I'm so happy you're here. We're happy to be here. You are an inspiration. I thought it was so amazing how you continue to pursue your dreams no matter what. How did you know opening a restaurant was your dream? Well, my daddy always said that good food has a way of bringing people together. So the first time he let me make a pot of gumbo, I hauled it to the whole neighborhood. <laughs> you see, it wasn't just about making a great meal. It was about sharing it and seeing everybody smiling and laughing over a bowl of gumbo. That's when I knew that having my own restaurant was my dream and I was gonna make that dream come true. Wow, so you're never too young to figure out your dream and start following it? Mm -hmm. The sooner you know your dream, the sooner you can figure out what you have to do to get there. But it takes a lot to get there too. You went day and night and didn't always get to hang out with your friends. You have to save up so much money to open your restaurant. And you never lost sight of your dream, even with all the changes you went through. You know, I learned a lot hopping around the bayou as a frog. I had to learn not to take myself so seriously sometimes, not to focus on just working, not to be, as Naveen would say, a stick in the mud. <laughs> when you allow yourself to relax and have a little fun, even making a pot of swamp gumbo isn't so hard. You faced a lot of other challenges too, right? When you're chasing a dream, sometimes shadows can make it hard to see. But you know what you do then? What? You make your own light. Then you picture your dream, walk straight ahead, and let your light chase those shadows away. It seems like a lot goes into making dreams come true. How do you know what you have to do? Well, I like to think of dreams as recipes. <gasps> really? <laughs> Why, sure. You have to have all the right ingredients and hard work to make a good meal. And those are the same things you need to make a dream come true. Do y'all want to hear my dream recipe? Yes, please! Well, you start off with preparation and determination. You picture the dream you're making, learn what it's going to take to get there, and then you believe in your heart you can do it. Add a teaspoon of technique, because you have to chop and mince those problems and saute every success. Add a dash of good humor. We love to laugh in my kitchen. <laughs> Add a cup of confidence and the courage to keep going. Mix in a whole lot of love because you have to treat yourself kindly when you stumble and show grace and gratitude to those who lift you back up. And when you've made it, celebrate with a big flambe <laughs> and share that dream with everyone who helped you along the way. That's more ingredients than I thought there would be. Now mind you, everyone's dream will be a bit different because we all have our own dreams, our own journeys to get where we're going. Wow, so being determined is just one step in the right direction. There's way more work that has to be done. That's right. Now, tell me a dream that you're going to make come true. I want to be a photographer. I love 
taking pictures of people and places. And I want to be a soccer player. I love playing and I want to be on the team at school. There you go. Now, what ingredients might you need? Any ideas? Well, my main ingredient is practice. I have to do a lot of it, but I'm ready. I can tell. And yours? Observation. I want to see the world in a different way than I have before. That's perfect. Now, do you know what you might like to do first? That's all right. We don't always know where to start. But I bet there's someone that you look up to who's living out her dreams. Now, how will it feel when you've made it and you have a little girl looking up to you too? <gasps> and you know, that picture my daddy gave me, it lived in my mind until I made it real. I'll just bet you'll inspire someone else's dream by following yours. Thanks so much for helping us start planning out our dreams now. I'm so glad we're not too young to start. And I like the idea of thinking of your dreams as a recipe. It's such a cool way to understand the things we need to do and why we need to do them. And if we do it this way, it's so much fun. <laughs> it sure can be. Now, one more thing, ladies, and it's important. As you're working for those dreams, make sure you never lose sight of what really matters. That's love. You know what you want, and you know you can get there. But remember who's with you along the way. And always let your light shine. We won't forget that. Definitely not. One final question. You are such a great cook. People travel from all over the world to taste your food. But I'm curious, what's your favorite meal to cook? Hmm. <laughs> That's easy. My daddy's gumbo. <gasps> that sounds really good. It does. Thank you for inviting us. I had such a great time. Me too. And we learned so much. Well, thank you both for coming. I've really enjoyed our visit. Now, y'all keep after those dreams now, you hear? We will. Next time, I'll stay for dinner. I'm thinking gumbo. I think I might know a good recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, you. I'm so happy we got to meet Tiana. Me too. But all this talk about determination has made me kind of hungry. Me too. I am determined to make a snack. I'm thinking... Tiana toast? You mean we're going to figure out the ingredients we need to make our dreams come true? Indeed. <laughs> I love that Tiana thinks of dreams as recipes. It's such a great idea. Each ingredient symbolizes what we'll need to do to reach our goal. So to be a photographer, the first ingredient for my Tiana toast is knowledge. That's my toast. Then I need to be dedicated. That's some yogurt. Then I need to dedicate a lot of time to learning about photography. The time is bananas. It's about time. No, it's literally about putting in the time. Then strawberries for kindness. I love how kind Tiana was to us. I can be kind by using my photography to give back to the community or maybe even tutoring someone when I reach my goal. And last but not least, cooking a place for creativity. To be a great photographer, you have to be creative with how you take your pictures. Your Tiana toast is very inspiring, Malia. Thank you. There isn't anything stopping me from being a photographer. Right now, I'm using my mom's camera phone, but soon I'll have an actual camera of my own. I even study photographs I see in magazines and museums. If I stick with it, I'm just going to get better. Absolutely. With knowledge, dedication, time, kindness, and creativity, my dreams of being a photographer will come true. In a way, it already has. Yeah, me. So, what kind of Tiana toast are you making, Elena? Well, my main ingredient for my recipe for success is research. I love to watch my favorite soccer players on TV so that I can learn from the best in the world. This toast represents my research. And my next ingredient is teamwork, because you can't be on a team by yourself. That's yogurt. And then I have raspberries for hard work. I'm going to put my raspberries in my yogurt. Mmm, <laughs> it looks so good. I wonder if it's gonna turn pink. I hope so, pink's my favorite color. Ooh, it's so pretty. Yeah. And next, training. 
I have to put in some real time to really understand the sport. That's cacao nibs. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, I need some more of these because I want to do the best that I can. <laughs> then, apples for courage because it's not going to be easy. So I need to be very courageous and resilient. And lastly, blueberries for fun. Fun? Yeah. I think an important part of following your dreams is always having fun. Even if your dream seems difficult, you should have fun with it and be happy. That's so true. I'm very happy when I take photos. See, with research, teamwork, hard work, training, courage, and fun, I'm one step closer to my dream of becoming a soccer player to come true. What do you know, Lena? We're almost there. Hold on, Gamma yeah, gets sad. Good. <laughs> Today was a great day. We made delicious snacks. We figured out what we needed to work on to make our dreams come true. And there was something else. We, we met, met Tiana. Tiana! Tiana went through a fascinating journey. From her adventure on the bayou to her adventure on land. She still managed to open up a restaurant. If that's not courage and determination, then I don't know what is. Do you know what ingredients you need to make your dreams come true? If not, that's okay. Take a minute to think about it. And then, make a snack. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you so much for watching this special episode of the Disney Courage and Kindness Club. How do you, Princess? I'm Malia. And I'm Elena. <laughs>